And with that, a record falls at 3.05 this afternoon. 40 players in Chestermere broke the Guinness World Record for the longest hockey game. So, after 10 grueling days, how much money did they raise? We'll have the answer live when they skate off the ice at 6.02. This is the News Hour. Good evening. After 10 days on the ice, they are just seconds away from the end. 40 men who have been pushing through the pain to play close to 250 hours of non-stop hockey are about to take their skates off for the last time. They have had two ambitious targets. They set a world record and to raise one and a half million dollars for the Alberta Children's Hospital Foundation. Kevin Smith is there live with the latest. How's it going, Kevin? I think that, uh, that ovation behind me says it all. And, uh, this started as an idea about five months ago. As you know, 3 o'clock this afternoon, they set a world record. 243 continuous hours of hockey, raising money for the Children's Hospital Foundation. In about 40 seconds, you're going to see and feel what it's like for 40 Calgarians aged 17 to 52 to do something that just doesn't seem humanly possible. To play hockey for 10 and a half days straight. It's like Jerome McGinley playing hockey for three straight years in the NHL. They had inspiration from so many people along the way. Uh, we got 20 seconds left, so take a look at these 40 players as they get the hugs that they deserve for inspiring this city and raising right now $1.4 million, and we could have a lot more in the next half hour. Five seconds left, take it in. last week, an eight-year-old named Tyson, who none of us ever got to meet. Uh, he spent the last two days of his life watching the webcam, watching these players, and uh, he passed away because of cancer. That is why these guys did this, uh, to raise the money for the Children's Hospital. We're going to talk to these players in about 20 minutes and find out just how they were able to achieve this amazing thing. I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Kevin. That is a moment so many people have been waiting for. I'm sure that arena is just full of excitement right now. Quite an ambitious goal, and they succeeded. We'll have much more, as Kevin said, coming right up. Well, that hockey marathon for kids would not have succeeded without the personal sacrifices of so many people. The players put up with countless injuries and days away from their own families. Here's David Boucher now on the final hours of the marathon. <laughs> It's the final day, the stands are packed, and incredibly, the players have a little more pep in their step. They're absolutely flying out there. We, we're feeding off the kids right now. As the clock ticks ever closer to the world's longest hockey game, online donations to the Children's Hospital Foundation are pouring in. This has been a record breaker for us in terms of online donations, and we've seen donations come at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. For the players, it's more about meeting their fundraising target than setting a world record. Our players will skate till tomorrow until we hit that one and a half million dollars. Uh, whether we'll walk tomorrow, I couldn't tell you that. At about five past three, the players surpass the old record. <laughs> but there's little time to celebrate. The game continues. And with every stride, every shot, every save, and every goal, they add to the new record. The players are fighting through a multitude of injuries. They've sacrificed their bodies. 
and it's why so many consider them heroes. But the players don't see it that way. To them, the real heroes are the kids fighting life-threatening diseases. You know, for us to whine about blisters or bangs and bruises or whatever it is, it just seems really kind of insignificant to the fight that they're going through daily for sometimes years on end. These kids are my little heroes. Also making sacrifices over the past 10 plus days are the players' family. It's hard for the kids just because they are wondering why their dad isn't at home. But they'll be home soon enough, and Alex Hallett can hardly wait. I miss my, obviously hug my kids and my wife, so I, I, that's why I'm here. I'm here for my kids. You know, uh, I have a four-year-old and a one-and-a-half-year-old and another one on the way, so I want to make certain you know, they have a bright future. You know, they've got, one of them got sick. They're in good hands at the Alberta Children's Hospital. David Boucher, Global News, Chestermere. And believe it or not, there is already talk about organizing another hockey marathon in two or three years from now. It just might take that long for those players to heal. Once again, $1.4 million raised so far. It is amazing.